Good evening, good evening, folks. This is Wesley Virgin, your master motivator and master virtual trainer here with 7dayfitness.com. And folks, I am here to continue my great series about the law of attraction. And we're talking about money. We're talking about putting more money in the bank account, put more money in the wallet, put more money under the bed, under the pillow, whatever. But I need more money, Wes, to pay my bills. And today's topic is get away from the 97%. Now, what do I mean the 97%? Well, the 90, 97% are those folks that do those same things every weekend. What happens? We go to work throughout the week, right? Then on the weekend, what do we do? We either go to the mall, we go to the club, we go waste our money on things that are unproductive, that are not beneficial to our financial portfolio. And folks, what I'm telling you today, you have to get away from people that keep doing the same things they do every single day, day in and day out. It's like a record player. You ever met a person that was broke? You ever met a person that's always struggling, can never pay the car note, always slay on the bills, getting the pink letters from the green, from the blue, you know, getting the eviction signs on their doors, collection aids, the 800 numbers, calling them repeatedly to the point they put the DNA, do not answer. Get away from those folks, okay? Step away. Don't do what they do. Don't read what they read. Don't talk like they talk, folks. The thing is, you have to join a different crowd. And I call this crowd the 3%. And these are the individuals that are go-getters. These are the individuals that are financially cautious on how they spend their money. These are the individuals that don't buy into the American way as far as the, the economy, you know. Well, you know, a new product got the new iPhone or maybe it's a, a, a new pair of slacks or some new dresses, some new shoes. I see that televised on TV, now what do I do? I must go out and buy that. But yet, I have bills I need to pay. You know, I have I owe up Aaron's furniture bill. I have something in Walmart that's still on railway. I'm still paying for a TV. See, the thing is, this is not smart decisions, in my opinion. See, in my opinion, you should... Wait, let me give you an example. I went to a furniture store the other day, and I bought... a. Uh, approximately $2,000 worth of furniture. I didn't pay cash, but I put a nice, healthy uh, down payment. I'll pay 500 bucks. But see, when I get paid again, when I get more money in, my money goes towards the payment of the furniture. It doesn't go towards a brand new pair of shoes. It doesn't go towards some rims or, you know, some type of accessories for my vehicle. It goes towards that bill. It goes towards that debt. And see, the thing is, folks, those materialistic things, they're a means to an end. Those materialistic things that you feel that's going to make you feel better, other people are going to like you, they're going to appreciate you, you're going to create this image where, oh wow, this guy's like this, he's this and that, he has these nice shoes, she has this nice dress, I like that hat, I like that chain, I like that ring. Those are means to an end. That's not going to bring the happiness that you look for. And what happens is that habit becomes repetitively. Because guess what? When I buy one iPhone, I got to buy the next one. And when I buy iPhone 5, I got to buy iPhone 6. When I buy the PlayStation, I got to get the Xbox. Don't fall into what the 97% do. See, 97% of folks, they was dry the economy in America. That's what makes rich people rich. Because these 97 people, 97%, see, they're not creating financial wealth. They're pouring into it. When they get extra money, they get what they want instead of paying on what they need. Instead of taking care of bills, let me go buy me something nice because guess what? I deserve it. So, folks, get away from the 97%. This is how you get more money, folks. Step away. And if you don't know what the 97% is, if you don't say, well, how, how do I know to identify these people? You know, how can I be sure this is the 97%? Well, watch their actions. Watch what they're doing when the weekend comes. Look at their habits. Watch how they spend money. Because the thing is, how you spend money is usually somewhat similar to how your friends spend money. See, the thing is, I have uh, another friend. See, when it's time to go on vacation, all of a sudden money becomes available. 
But when it's time to pay some bills, when it's trying to pay that toll road violation, all of a sudden now I don't have much money to do that. See, folks, you have to move and switch your priorities. Okay? Join the 3%. Yes, I'm a 3%er. If you can't find any 3%ers out there, you talk to Wesley Burton. You Google me. You find me. You email me. And I'm going to show you what the 3%ers do. I'm going to show you how I can still have all these things, but yet I am responsible when it comes to financial needs. I can show you how I can buy this and buy that. I can go here. This breaks down. No problem. Hey, here's the card. Let's swipe it. With no worries. I can pay the bills with no problems, no financial issues at all. It's a process, folks, but this is how the law of attraction works. You have to put yourself in the environment. You have to put yourself in the pool of folks that do certain things that are different of the things that you're doing right now. Hey, folks, join the 3%. I'm looking for you. For all you 97%ers out there that you want to join, hey, we are ready for us. Uh, we are ready for you to join up with us, 3%ers. I, I'm going to create a website called the 3 percenterscom and I hope you join. Hey, folks, this is Wesley Virgin, your master motivating, master virtual training here with 7DayFitness.com. Hey, folks, get fit with passion.